Hello everyone. In this video I will experiment a little bit with reflow soldering using solder paste. All the PCB assembly that I have done so far have been using a soldering pen, solder wire and solder wick for rework. That works great for most types of SMT components, but with fine pitch or leadless components it's very difficult to use this method. To hand solder connection by connection is also quite slow and labor intensive for larger designs. In that case reflow soldering is a better way to do it. Solder paste come packaged in a jar or in syringes or tubes and I want to explore the result if I manually dispense the soldering paste from the syringe instead of using a solder paste stencil. To be able to control the amount of solder paste that you are applying you will need a dispenser of some type. You can buy these on eBay or AliExpress, but I decided to try out some 3D printed alternatives. But after downloading a couple of existing designs and trying them out, I decided to make my own design in FreeCAD. To be able to dispense solder paste and flux from a syringe, you need a lot of force, and you also need to be able to control it. So a 3D printed handle in combination with metal parts seems like the best solution. The 3D printed parts were printed with 50% infill using standard PLA filament. So, this is all the parts that you need for the dispenser handle. The part that needs to be strong and are subject to wear and tear are metal, and they are standard metric off the shelf parts that you can find online or in a utility store. After printing all the parts, I had to do some cleanup of the supports on the handle. Assembly is quite simple, but you might need to apply some force to get the threaded plugs fit onto the threaded rod. Let's prepare the dispenser with some solder paste and we can start using it. I'm using a finer needle than the one that is supplied with the kit. With everything in place, let's start applying the paste. It is quite difficult to get the right amount of paste onto the pads. In general, it seems that I'm using way too much solar paste. To be honest, it looks really messy. I really wonder if this will work. All right, it's time to start placing the components. I will need to do this under microscope. Here you can clearly see that the solder paste consists of small balls of solder mixed with flux. Let's start with the ICs and the discrete semiconductors. Next we have the capacitors. This is a very small design and I haven't clocked myself when assembling a PCB using the traditional method with a solder pen. But so far it's much quicker and easier. But let's see how much time the actual reflow and touch up work takes before I give a final verdict. And finally the resistors. All right, I will use a hot plate with temperature control for heating up the PCB. 
The solder paste I'm using has a melting temperature of 183 degrees Celsius. So I will set it to 190 degrees. I will use a hot air gun if I need to apply more heat. After reaching 190 degrees, I can clearly see that the solder paste is melting and it pulls up around the component legs. Most of the components also automatically align themselves to the pads due to the surface tension. But I had to help one resistor to find its way home. But wait a minute, hold it right there. I have managed to place one transistor upside down. This is clearly an example where a stereo microscope is a superior tool, since it gives more of a 3D view of the component than the PCB. But after reworking the transistor and cleaning the PCB, it's time to complete the assembly by adding the through-hole components and the front panel. And the final question is, will it work? The power consumption seems correct, so let's hook it up to the case and test it. Yeah, everything seems to work fine. And the noise output works fine too. So, what is the verdict? This method of dispense solder paste clearly works for prototyping and building one or two modules. But for larger batches, a stencil is probably a better choice. The design files, STLs and bill of material can be found on my GitHub in case you want to try this out yourself. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon again. Take care.